I've got two really popular power stations here. I'm going to put them head to head today and uh, compare them so we can maybe find uh, some differences and see what uh, one excels in what area. Let's compare the weights of the EcoFlow Delta II and the DJI Power 1000. All right, it's on the scale and it's coming in at 26 pounds, 12.75 ounces. And the DJI Power 1000 is coming in just slightly over at 29 pounds, 9.25 ounces. Okay, size wise, the DJI Power 1000 is slightly wider this direction than the EcoFlow Delta II. However, you can see that the Delta II is quite a bit taller vertically than the Power 1000. Depth, this way, uh, the Power 1000 is slightly deeper, including its handles than the Delta II is, including its handles. In terms of actual battery capacity, these two power stations trade blows with each other. This one's 1,024 watt hours, and so is the Delta II. The Delta II has an inverter that's rated to 1,800 watts continuous output, whereas the DJI Power 1000 is rated to 2,200 watts. Be sure and stay with us because we're going to be torture testing the two inverters. Let's look at the port layout. Over here on the left side, we've got the two AC power outlets, and then you've got six total outlets here. Coming here to the center, we've got two type A USB ports, each one rated up to 24 watts. Down here we have four USB type A outlets. These two are just standard slow charge outlets. These two are fast charge up to 18 watts. And then you've got two USB C power delivery ports, each rated up to 140 watt output. And then you have two type C power delivery ports rated up to 100 watts. And then of course you've got this nice screen that uh, gives you the state of charge, how much time, estimated time remaining, and then your input and your output watts. We've obviously got the screen. It has estimated time remaining in terms of discharge and or charging. It will switch between the two. A state of charge indicator here, and then you have your input and your output watts. On the right side here, we have the AC charging port. And then down here, you've got your charging selector switch and you can charge at the fast 1200 watts or a slower 600 watts. This is what really sets this power station apart in terms of ports, and that's these SDC ports. These are bi-directional ports. They can charge and discharge this power station. This is where your solar would go in. This is where your car charging would go in. You do need to get separate adapters for that to happen. And then if you're a creative person and you have one of DJI's drones, these ports will fast charge the drone. If you got both accessories for solar input on these, you can max these out with up to 800 watts of solar, which is really good for a power station of this size. On the top of the back side here, we've got our inputs up here. This is your DC input for the car charger and solar, and it maxes out at 500 watts total solar input. Here's your AC charger input. This is a resettable circuit breaker. And then finally down here, we've got two 5521 barrel plug DC outputs rated to three amps max. Then you have your 12 volt cigarette style outlet right there rated for up to 10 amps. Coming here to the side, this power station does accept expansion batteries and a variety of other accessories in the EcoFlow ecosystem. This Power 1000 does not accept any kind of expansion batteries. So everything you need to interface with this power station is right here in the front. The Delta II, on the other hand, has ports kind of scattered all over the place. In terms of total ports, all of them all together, the Delta II has a total of 18. The DJI Power 1000 has nine. You control everything about how this DJI Power 1000 functions with physical buttons and switches. With the EcoFlow Delta II, a lot of the functionality is enabled and utilized in the app. So if you're someone like me that loves to tinker and dive into deep settings and set automations, etc., the EcoFlow could be a good choice. However, flipping that, a couple weeks ago, we actually had a short-term power outage here. I was without power and my parents were without power because they live close by. So I took this EcoFlow Delta II over to them. 
And I was showing them on the app what they could do and change, and they were completely lost. So I brought the Delta II back home and picked up the DJI Power 1000 and took that over to them. And uh, in the words of my dad, he said, that's my kind of thing. Push the button and something happens, and there's only two of them to worry about. <laughs> so if you just want a power station that just works and produces power, and all you gotta do is push two buttons, the DJI Power 1000 is the way to go. If you're more techy and uh, want to fuss with apps and firmware updates and different things, the Delta II is a good way to go. All right, we're gonna be load testing both of these inverters momentarily. Let me show, show you something very interesting though first between the two power stations. If I'm quiet here for a minute, you can see the room threshold is about uh, 30 to 29 decibels. With me talking, uh, you can see we jump up into the high 60s and 70s. I'm gonna hit this EcoFlow Delta 2 with 1435 watts and listen to that. So that's recording right at uh, 65 decibels with this uh, hot plate running. Okay, same test, but now with the DJI Power 1000. So let's go ahead and turn this hot plate back on. Once again, we're pulling almost 1500 watts. Uh, I tried to find the heaviest load that was the quietest load as possible, but uh, this buzz is uh, a little louder than I'd like it to. So I'm gonna put it behind the Delta II, but it's still plugged in to the DJI. Okay, once again, we're up to 1500 watts. So you're holding it right up next to the vent right here. Yeah, I don't know if you saw, but we had like 35 decibels, so barely louder than ambient room sound floor. Let's do a inverter load test. I'm gonna start with the DJI Power 1000. I'm gonna have these loads over here. However, the camera is going to be trained on this screen right here. Turning on the hot plate, 1400. Okay, let's add uh, some hair dryer here. 1700, let's add some more heat. 22, 24, running it like a champ. We push it even harder, and there we go. All right, got the Delta II here, and uh, the hot plate, the hair dryer. We're gonna train you guys right here on the screen so you can see what's going on. All right, here goes the hot plate. Now we're gonna add the hair dryer. There's 1700, let's push it a little more. Oh, and immediately overloaded. All right, one more sound test here. I've got the Delta II charging at its max speed. It's reading just about 62 decibels. All right, now I have the Power 1000 charging and I've got it set to the highest charge speed possible, 1200 watts. And it's been charging for quite a little while because it takes a while for the fans to get going. But uh, they have finally turned on and let me show you. High 40s, low 50s, whisper quiet. The bag that uh, you can get with the DJI Power 1000 and allows you to fully utilize the power station while it's in the case. So you have access to all the ports and all the buttons right here in the front cover. And then you can see on the ends, it has these uh, pockets that unzip and uh, allow it to uh, ventilate. And in the back here, you've got a zipper pocket for your accessories and cords. I believe EcoFlow makes a case uh, for the Delta II as well. However, I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more work because you've got to not only open the front panel to get to at least the power button, but you've also got to open the back panel if you're going to use any kind of the ports on the back side. And then you've also got to open ports for the ventilation. Could be a little bit more of a hassle than this. Once again, going back to the virtues of having everything on one side. Now, if you wanna see more in-depth testing done on this, such as finding out how long it would run a refrigerator for, if it can run a mini split heat pump, or power a high-end workstation, how about a batch of wash? All of those things and more, I 
we'll have the testing video linked down in the description below so you can check that out. So here's a summary of my comparison of these two and hopefully this helps you in your decision making process. If you want a power station that is hands down one of the quietest portable power stations on the market, go straight to the DJI Power 1000. It is so, so quiet. It is absolutely awesome. If you want a big beefy inverter in a small package and if you want just simplicity without having to fuss with app control or anything and just have everything that you need at the touch of a button or a few switches. The DJI Power 1000 is the way to go. If you want the ultimate flexibility in terms of what you can connect, the EcoFlow could be the choice. And if you like to get into more of the technical aspects with major app control and a massive ecosystem that surrounds the units, EcoFlow would be a strong consideration in that regard. I always say though, the smartest people are in my comments section. Please uh, sound off down there and let me know what you guys think between these two and which one you'd choose and why. Please consider giving us a like and subscribe so you don't miss uh, future videos coming up. And we'll catch y'all next time.